Okay, so where we left off was uh, with this one by one by three shape, one by one by three shape here, um, and we enlarged it by a linear scale factor of two, meaning we uh, made it two times as wide, two times as tall, two times as deep, uh, meaning that that must now be a two by two by six shape. So now they're gonna ask us how many one by one by three solids would you need to build this two by two by six solid? All right, and I'm gonna try to do that using the E tool to try to show this. Um, and so I'll go to the E tool here again, 9-42 student E tool. This is our original shape. Uh, it is this one by one by three shape. And now we need to make it two by two by six. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do I'm going to add another one. So now it took, that's two blocks here. That's a one by one by three, another one by one by three. I'll add another one. And I'm going to add another one. Okay. So right now I'm at four. I'm at four one by one by three shapes. And I have a two by two by three shape. Two by two by three shape. I need two by two by six. And so what I need to do, I need to add more on top here. I add one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. And so now I have my two by two by six shape here. And it took eight one by one by threes. And I can kind of count those off. It goes one, two, three. So that's one. One, two, three. That's two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. It takes eight, one by one by three, it takes eight, and I'll, I'm going to write that down here. I always have more room. It takes eight, uh, one by one by three solids to make a two by two by six. To make a two by two by six shape. All right, and that's trying to, what that's doing there is just reinforcing this idea that the volume is eight times bigger when you have a linear scale factor of two. Um, and what that showed us from the last time um, would be like, well, two cubed equals eight. And so that's why our, our volume scale factor is eight or it's eight times bigger. I'm just remembering now that I don't think I answered part D to this question. And it's saying, how does the volume change when a three-dimensional solid is enlarged? Um, and I just wanted to hop back to that for a second. Um, it's saying uh, if, and I'm going to scroll down here and write it, but uh, what, what's happening if we have a linear scale factor of 10 um, and a linear scale factor of R? Well, we already did the linear scale factor of R, and we came up with that R cubed. We came up with our uh, volume scale factor. Um, but I just wanted to talk about that linear scale factor of 10 quick uh, to show that. So I hit this problem. And for D, what that means is if we have a linear scale factor equaling 10, our volume scale factor needs to be 10 cubed, which gives me a 10 cubed. I'm actually going to do it on my calculator uh, so I don't screw it up. Uh, but that's 10 times 10 times 10 when you do 10 cubed. 10 times 10 times 10. And so 10 times 10 times 10 gives me 1,000. I should have known that. I teach the subject. I should know how to do that. But um, it's just a, I just wanted to come back to that for a second to reinforce this idea that we just cube our linear scale factor. And it just reminded me because we see that here, our linear scale factor in part B was 2. We cube it to get 8, and 8 is what we see um, that's the number of blocks it takes to actually make that enlarged shape. All right, and then we'll end, well, we'll do part D here. Um, it's saying what if the one by one by three um, had a scale factor, a linear scale factor of three? Uh, well, if we had a one, there's a couple ways we can do this. If we have a one by one by three shape, and we enlarge everything by a linear scale factor of three, that means this got three times bigger, this gets three times bigger, and this gets three times bigger. Our length, our width, and our height get three times bigger. So now we have three times three times nine. And so we have a new volume. Three times three is nine. Nine times nine is 81. So that's one way you could find your new volume is actually using the scale factor and increasing your length times your width times your height. 
Or what we could do is we could say that our original volume is 1 times 1 times 3, meaning our original volume is 3. And so we could take our original volume of 3, multiply it by our linear scale factor cubed, and our linear scale factor was also 3, and we cube that. And so what we get here then is 3 times 3 cubed. 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. And 3 times 27 is 81. So either way you want to think about it. Those are the two. Maybe you think about it a different way. That's fine. But I, those are the two I think about. Either increase length times width times height. Increase all of them by a scale factor of 3 and then multiply them. Or... Take your original volume, your original volume, and multiply it by your linear scale factor cubed. Either way, you'll get that correct, your, you'll get that correct new volume. All right, um, pretty good problem there. I, I really like that second strategy there. Um, and it reminds me of when we did this at the end with R. Um, we took our original here, 24 multiplied it by our linear scale factor cubed. Okay, last problem here. And so um, at the movies, Maurice counted the number of kernels of popcorn that filled his tub. So he counted that there was 320 kernels that fill up his tub of popcorn. He decided next time that he wants to get an enlarged tub that is similar but has a linear scale factor of 1.5. And so really kind of what's happening here is our original volume, our original volume was, it's going to be, it's a weird measurement, but it was 320 kernels. That was our original volume. We now have a linear scale factor. Or we want to use a linear scale factor of 1.5 to say we want a bigger tub next time, a tub that holds more kernels. So if we use a linear scale factor of 1.5, 1, 1 how many kernels of popcorn should the enlarged tub hold? Well, what we're going to do is similar to what we just did. We're going to take our original volume, 320 kernels, and we're going to multiply that by our linear scale factor cubed. And so 1.5 cubed. And if we do this, and I got to use my calculator here, we get 320 being multiplied by 1.5 times 1.5 times 1.5, which is really getting multiplied by 3.375. All right, you take that 3.375, multiply it by 320, 320, and your new enlarged, uh, your new enlarged bucket or tub of popcorn can hold 1,080 kernels. And that's just, again, like, that's using that, that, second, that second form here. That's using this idea that you can take original volume, multiply it by linear scale factor cubed, and you get your new volume. Um, that's what we're doing here. It's just that our volume is in terms of kernels this time around. Um, that's the last problem, though. Um, I, would, I would recommend using, uh, doing a short learning log, just like a quick, you know, sentence or two um, talking about how you can make sense of, in your own words, linear scale factor and then a volume scale factor. Um, but for that, that's our videos for today. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me.